week on 21 Alive News at 4, we check in with our friends at Arts United to see what's happening in Fort Wayne's art scene. Yeah, because we want to be cool. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Um, I did talk with Rachel Ryan King, one of our favorite people, about things you and your entire family can do to get out of the house this week. Always something phenomenal going on in the world of arts, in the arts, in our community. As usual, we've got talent on stage this week, creating some special ceramics, art and writing skills oh, by some young people that are fabulous. Rachel Ryan King is back from Arts United, and we appreciate each and every time you're here, Rachel, because you always bring good news, and we can always use some more. What's going on? We have so much to chat about again this good. week, thankfully. Uh, happening in the arts this week, Fort Wayne Youth Theater and Audiences Unlimited presents the Neurodiversity Project, Aesop's Fables. Mm -hmm. This show takes you into the imaginative world of Aesop's Fables in this collaborative theatrical experience featuring both neurodivergent and neurotypical theater students. So that's the pairing between Audiences Unlimited and Fort Wayne Youth Theater. It's fantastic. It's, it's, I'm super excited about that project and, in particular, yeah, not to play favorites, but. <laughs> no, I hear you loud and clear. Imagination. Yes. A go-go. That would be yes. great. Keep going. <laughs> um, you can catch that at Parkview Physicians oh. Group Arts Lab. Okay. Yep. Thank you. For and that us. is going to be from Friday, April 7th through the 9th. Okay. Wonderful. And then starting today, mm -hmm. Purdue Fort Wayne Ceramic students present the Empty Bowls Project. I don't know if you're familiar with that I one, am. but it is a fabulous annual mm -hmm. project that they put on. Special. Yes. It's part of an effort to raise money for the pantry at Purdue Fort Wayne, Blessings in a Backpack, and the PFW Ceramics Club. And it's presented by the PFW Department of Art and Design. Mm -hmm. Each donation not only helps our community, but also donors receive a one-of-a-kind ceramic bowl mm -hmm. designed by the students and a grab-and-go lunch. I think several years ago, and if memory serves me correctly, when this was a brand new project, we did a story on it. And oh my gosh, those were works of art, those bowls. Absolutely. They're beautiful. Absolutely. And it all just, it's all for the right reasons, you know? Yeah. All, all for the right reasons to help yeah. celebrate art. Very good reasons. Do art do good? That's yes. Why. Here, here. Yes. Very good. Uh, you should also know this week is the last chance to see the 2023 Scholastic Art and Writing Awards at mm -hmm. Fort Wayne Museum of Art and the Art and F Design Faculty Exhibition in the Visual Arts Gallery at PFW. All right. Scholastic Arts, an achievement yes. in them. My sister is a school principal and, of course, having teachers and school employees in my family for years and years and years, this is, this is special to us for sure. Yeah. So much going on. Yes, and so much. Some amazing opportunities for some of the really talented students here in our area as Absolutely. well, just to be able to exhibit in a different kind of way than usual. Yeah, and no excuse. Uh, if you say there's nothing going on, that's not true. So check a lot of these out and some other things. Rachel's here each and every week, and we sure appreciate your visits. And I love to be here, so thank you. Come again. <laughs>